The month of May is a time of transition for Chesapeake Bay rockfish. At the beginning of the month, there's still lots of big migratory fish around, but by the time Memorial Day rolls around, light tackle casting can be tough. Striped bass, just like most fish, key in on the most available bait in their environment. This is a time of year when mayworms swarm. They emerge in groups from live shell bottoms and reproduce in mass. They're reddish brown and look a little bit like blood worms. Stripers love them. When fish are eating mayworms, you can mark them on your fish finder. Fish will be clumped up near the bottom and not spread out like when they're feeding on bait fish. I don't spend too much time trying to get stripers to bite when they're eating mayworms because when they're cued in on them, it's almost impossible to get them to eat anything else. Instead, I look for other options. My first choice is to fish around underwater obstructions. You've heard me say before to look for humps, rocks, and ledges that interrupt the normal flow of current at a 90 degree angle. Artificial reefs, underwater rock piles, bridge pilings are all good examples. When stripers are hiding around obstructions, they're usually there to eat. You don't have to see a lot of fish on your sonar to catch them. Just a few marks is enough. As we move toward the end of May, look for stripers to start schooling up and feeding on menhaden in open water. There aren't many birds around yet, so your best bet is just to look for bait schools. The open water bite is just getting started, and it's easy light tackle catching when you can find the fish. Don't forget to subscribe to the Chesapeake Minute because that's what we'll be talking about in the next episode. Now, let's go fishing.